how to use Shopify forms, new email capture forms inside Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Shopify forms. So let's get into it. Now Shopify has launched their own email capturing form platform using their own tools and you can integrate that directly into Shopify. So you don't have to rely on third party organizations or third party forms to you know collect emails and get your customer data so let's get into actually downloading shopify forms so for that you need to log on to your shopify dashboard click on settings on the bottom left and then scroll down and click on apps and sales channels on the left and then click on shopify app store on the top right once you open up your shopify app store you are just going to search for shopify forms like this and then once you search for shopify forms you are going to find this particular application over here it's built by shopify so you are just going to download this over here and once you click on install this will open up the installation page and you will just click on install over here to complete your installation now once you have installed your shopify forms app you will see this is going to be your basic dashboard it's a very simple interface there's no extra stuff you need to worry about you can just focus on the fields and the customer data that you will receive so just go into forms and then click on create form from here you can choose the type of form that you want so if you want a pop-up form or an inline form. Now let's say I want an inline form and this is going to be my registration. This is going to be my registration form and then I'm going to click on create over here. Now once you click on create you will get a basic preview on the right and then on the left you have your fields that you can customize. Now there is a lot to customize within these forms, unlike using a third party application where you usually have to pay to remove branding. If you're using any platform for forms, usually they will have their own branding, their own color scheme, all of that is directed by them and you have to pay an upgrade to premium plans just to remove branding. However, with Shopify forms, you guys can see it's going to be a blank form that you can customize however you like. So we're going to add register to our newsletter. And then after that, you're going to write what the content is. The content is basically the little sub line under the heading. So this could be anything. So we're going to add keep up to date on our launches, springs, and sales by signing up like this. Now, after that, we have the field. So we have two fields that are added by default and you have two options as well. You either have company and customer or just customer. Now we have built a retail store, so we don't need company information. However, I want a simple customer form. Now in this, you have the first name and the email. The email is going to be a mandatory field. However, you can change the any of the other fields. So I can click on the first name field and then I can choose that. So instead of first name, I'm going to enter full name and then I'm going to click on done. And then I can add another field. Let's say and this is going to be phone number. I can make that optional. So this is going to be a non-required field and I'm just going to click on done. And you can even write that it's optional. So customers, you know, know they don't necessarily have to comply. And then I'm just going to write optional over here and then click on done now after that i can add another field you can build your own fields as well so you can build single line field drop down lists radio buttons multi-line text multiple choice date and numbers now for a registration form i don't need a lot of uh, information like a drop down list or um you know multi-line information or multiple choice but these types of forms are great to receive customer data such as customer satisfaction customer feedback when a customer places an order you can build a form for that and get their feedback on how they found the checkout process all of that can be done easily with those fields now next up we have the button label which is submit i'm going to change this to register now or i'm just going to change it back to submit i think it looked better submit 
And then after that, you have a consent disclaimer. So this is optional. You can remove that if you don't want it. Now, I am not going to add the phone number part. By signing up, you agree to receive marketing messages at the email provided. And then I'm going to remove this like so. And then after that, we have the success option. So this is going to be once the customer has submitted their information. You can select a discount that you may present after they submit. You can click on select discount and you can build your own discount. So you can click on create discount code over here and build discounts, but I'm not going to put one. Um, this is going to be a simple thank you for your submission. Then you have the styling. So you have so many different fonts available for free and you can pick out whichever one you want. And I'm just going to choose this one and then this one like this. So you can pick out whichever one you want. It's just it is totally dependent on what kind of style you like. After that, you have tags. So when a customer submits this particular form, you can add that customer in a specific tag of customers or segmentation of customers. This could be active customer or active like this. And then people would be added to the active tag. Now, after that, you have the placement. So and you guys will see you have to save this form before adding it to a page template. I'm just going to save it right now. Now from here, you will see the placement once you have saved your form. If it should be in a new landing page, if it should be in the existing page template. So what you would do is you can copy your form ID and you can paste it in whatever block you want it to appear. So for that, you can just go on ahead and you're going to click on go to theme editor to actually place your form inside your theme. You're just going to do that over here. And from here, you can click on add section. And this is going to be over here. And this could be your contact form. This could be any type of form that you want. But I am just going to add a new section. And we're just going to insert this form over here. Now you can click on the form that you want to add. You can remove this form and add your own, you know, another form. I'm just going to go on ahead, paste from our forms. And then from here, I'm going to enter the form ID. Now, once you enter the form ID, it will appear like this for your template, but you're going to exit that. And then you can place this, you know, in a different section if you want. I'm just going to leave it over here. And then we can go back into the rest of your workflow automations within your form. So you can choose email notifications and more. Now, once we have set this up, we can click on the form section in our theme builder. And then from here, we can edit the style of our form. So the colors and, you know, the overall appearance can be, you know, altered from here. And once you have completed that, just click on save over here. And that is all you have to do. Now, if I want this to appear on the top of our page, I would go into add block. I would go into add section and you can enter that or move that section to the top like this. Now, I'm just going to save this. Let's take a look at our Shopify store now. So we have our little form and that is how simple and easy it is to get started with Shopify forms. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.